Hey guys, welcome back to Asaneo. My name is Neo. This is my channel here, Asaneo, and today I am doing an unboxing video. I am doing an unboxing video. If you would like to see what I picked up, so excited, then please keep on watching. Hey guys, this is Neo of Asaneo. Uh, welcome back to my channel, guys. Oh. Let me stop. So, if you've been here before, you know the drill. A little bit of housekeeping. Asane is a channel. Ah, uh, excuse me. Asane is a channel that is about luxury and beauty and you know some good stuff in life. And if those are things that you are interested in, then stick around, hit the subscribe button, and definitely, definitely hit the notification button so you can know when I am posting next. As you guys know, I am a bit, little, tiny bit of a bandeau whore. If you don't know what a bandeau is, then you are clearly new here because I love bandeaus. And I'm using the term bandeaus here to use um, multiple different brands. Mainly I collect a Louis Vuitton uh, bandeaus. I have also uh, fell into the Hermes Twilly, which to me are bandeaus. Um, but I have many, many more uh, band Louis Vuitton bandeaus that I do Hermes Twillies or the Dior bandos, any of that. So, um, yeah, I actually have a Louis Vuitton bando collection. I did a collab with my girl, my beautiful girl, Deborah from Drelux TV. So I will link my video and her video down below so you guys can check that out. We both did what our bando collections look like. And it's really, really good that I have mentioned the lovely Deborah because she is to blame for this purchase. I think it was her. If it wasn't her, it was Windfire K69. I'll link her channel too. But I had zero interest in this particular bandeau. Zero. None. Uh, I saw the pictures and I was like, yeah, looks all right. Um, I have no idea what else was in there. Oh, wait. <gasps> she sent me samples. <laughs> Awesome them around. Uh, this came from the Louis Vuitton store in San Francisco. I work there with the lovely Tiffany. She has like this huge following on Instagram and she's amazing. She's super responsive. She's just fantastic and she's been wonderful to me. And she sent me two of the samples. Um, Attrape Reves. Attrape Reves. I butcher these names, but I don't care. And Le Jour Se Lève. Um, Hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you, Tiffany. Really, really appreciate it. I, uh, I like some of the Louis Vuitton fragrances. Some of them are a little too strong for me. Um, unfortunately, my husband doesn't like the fragrances, so um, he doesn't like any fragrances. He's allergic, so it sucks. I don't buy any. Here's my receipt, guys. Um, I'm a bit chit-chatty today, but I'm going to go back, rewind, to what I was saying about two minutes ago when I said I was blaming this purchase on... Uh, Wingfire 69k and Draylux TV because they started posting pictures of this particular bandeau and I was like well doesn't look that bad maybe I want to check it out it is the bandeau Louis uh, Paris and I got it in blue so most of the ones oh here's my receipt so most of the ones I've, I've seen on uh, Instagram and so on were um, were the red. Actually, I think a lady bee from Boston has the red one, and I watched her video. And then I think the maroon-looking ones. Um, Tiffany posted a picture of the blue one on her Instagram, and I was like, click, 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 like um. Let me see. And then we went back and forth and I, I almost didn't get it because I sent her a text saying I want it, but she mixed, missed the text because we were communicating on Instagram and I almost didn't get it. And I'm like scrambling the next day like, oh, where is it? Usually I get a receipt. Um, and it is the Louis uh, Paris Blue Bandeau. Cool guys. I need another blue bandeau, but who cares? It's it's stunning. This yeah. I love the okay. I love the reimagining of the Louis Vuitton monogram in blue. Um 
that's really this side here is really what made me think maybe I should get that because when I was first completely like uninterested in this um, bandeau it was this this is kind of busy to me like I couldn't pick up a color like I couldn't figure out I was like this, this is really busy um, and I'll, I'll shoot close-up pictures as well. I know I always say that and then sometimes I don't, but anyway. Um, I like the Eiffel Tower picture here and everything, but really when I saw this, I just thought it's too busy. There's too many colors. It, it, it was just a little busy for me, I thought. But when I saw the flip side, that's what really I thought, oh, I can work with this. You know, it's... I mean, I know it's an accent piece. I typically wear these like this, especially like during the summer. Um, uh, I have on a McQueen scarf right now, but I also wear them like this. If I'm in that rare occasion where I'm in an office setting, I will wear it um, as a tie too. And I've also been known to wear these as belts. Um, so I think for my purposes, because I wanted this blue LV side, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not a fan of the monogram print, ignore that. But I'm not a fan of the monogram print. But when I saw this blue, I was like, I can work with that. So, so yeah. Thank you, Tiffany, if you're watching. Uh, always a pleasure working with you. Although I got a little surprise the last this purchase, but it's okay. And um, we'll see. We'll see what we can do with this latest edition to our piece and um, my collection. I think I've been very, very good this year. So. Um, I've only added a few uh, pieces, monogram pieces, so, I mean, um, bandos this year, so, that's it, really quick video, hope you guys liked it, um, yeah, this is pretty, guys, even this side, I know I'm talking trash about this side, but it's actually very pretty, so, that's it, <laughs> two seconds. I lie. I always say that. Bye.